Okay. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Moment Gunman f Opens Fire at Donald Trump Rally on the video. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Uh, I just heard about this news, it came out recently. So, so let me check this video out with you guys. Let's go right to it. Well, Donald Trump has survived an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania. Before we start this full hour with reports and analysis, let's first show you that moment Donald Trump was shot. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Hmm. The FBI hey. says the gunman, who was on a nearby roof, killed a spectator and wounded two others before being shot dead by snipers. Well, as you can see, security agents rushed to protect the former president. They later hurried him off stage with blood on his face. In a social media post, Mr. Trump said a bullet had pierced his ear. He's now in New Jersey, where he plans to spend the night at his private golf club. This image, obtained by the entertainment news outlet TMZ, shows the exact moment the shooter, who was lying on his stomach, lines up his shot from the roof, clearly questions about how he was able to do that without being stopped. The gunman was shot dead moments after this. What you're hearing is some of the reaction from the clearly very distressed crowd after he was killed and the panic which ensued. Well, speaking at the news conference, the FBI special agent Kevin Rojek gave this update. This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. We do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. Well, speaking at the same press conference, Pennsylvania State Police Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens gave this update. So let me describe for you a little bit about the, uh, the scene that we have over there. As you know, uh, uh, you know, there was a grandstand, a very large area, a lot of people there when this all unfolded. The former president had uh, come out and begun to speak shortly after six o'clock this evening, excuse me, this evening. Uh, and within about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, a number of sounds were heard and it became apparent that shots were being fired um, in that direction. It was a chaotic scene. Uh, law enforcement, I believe, acted heroically, quickly identifying and, uh, and, and neutralizing the threat as well as responding to assist the various victims. This is really serious. Is it? Whenever it comes to great men who are being attacked at a rally, who are trying, they are trying to shoot them down. They have something very important they are saying, and they want to make the country great. That is why they want to kill them. But I'm really happy with me that Donald Trump was not shot dead. He has some scratch on his ears, but I'm very happy that he's not dead, that he was not shot dead, because that would be a very, very terrible news to me so to america as a whole but i'm really happy that he's alive there is something about we republican we are doing the right thing they want us to go down for it we're gonna stand we are we are one people guys we are one people we are one america we have to stand strong but i'm really happy that he's alive he's not dead and he he was rescued and the gunman who attempted to kill him has been Shot dead. Because why do you want to silence Donald Trump? Like, like for what reason do you want to kill a man who has the benefits and the interests of the entire country at heart? He said America is going to be great again. That is that is one of his big motto. And they just want to silence him. My condolences to the people who lost their loved one during the rally. And also to those I brutally injured in the hospital right now. That is just really, really a very sad news. Uh, my condolences to the families. But this is something that ought to be taken with major concern. Because if there's an attempt to, to, Donald, to Donald Trump life now, there might be a second attempt again. 
so we have to be very very careful like he have to be guarded 24 7 double security double everything because this man ought to be protected our votes have to count for him it's really really important i'm very very happy that he's alive and it was just a scratch on his ear but he's saying himself he was he was actually touching his ear like something passed him I'm very happy that he's alive so guys comment down below think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe Bye. i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her oh bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed